Good morning, children. Before starting with today's class, I would like to give you two important instructions. First one, please make sure your copy work is completed. If there is any pending work, finish it. On Thursday, when you come for the Zoom class, you are expected to have your notebook and your book along with you. I will be calling out any five or six of you, any 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 number of people. and you have to show your notebooks now there is a provision in your camera called flip camera so all that you have to do is enable that flip camera and then you have to keep showing the your notebooks maybe vikas sir will you explain explain it to you clearly that day so the point is make sure you finish all the pending works that is very important the second in information is on next tuesday that is 26th may you will be having a test of machines chapter okay so you can start your preparation now itself now today we are just left out with one part of pulleys that is numericals based on pulleys numericals based on pulleys turn to page 68 numericals based on pulleys okay so i'll be solving two numericals okay let's start with the fifth question okay question number 5 let me read it first a block and tackle system has five pulleys if an effort of 1000 newton is needed in the downward direction to raise a load of 4500 newton calculate mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency of the system so let's write what all are given okay so it is given it has five pulleys okay page 68 page 68 question number 5 so number of pulleys n is given as 5 then effort is 1000 newton and load is 4500 newton what all you have to find mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency so what is the formula for ma load upon effort that will be 4500 upon 1000 that will be 45 by 10 that is 4.5 b part velocity ratio now velocity ratio you can directly equate it to or velocity ratio will always be equal to n that is the number of pulleys in this case it will be 5 so velocity ratio will be 5 now as i told you before though in the ideal cases now when you drew the diagram and all if a pulley if a block and tackle system has five pulleys then we derive that its ma is 5 and velocity ratio is 5 but practically ma will be always less than 5 okay that is only for ideal case but vr will never change velocity ratio will always be equal to the number of pulleys but mechanical advantage will definitely be less than velocity ratio that you can calculate only by using load and effort so don't think ma is equal to number of pulleys and write 5 as the answer that will be wrong now after this they have asked you to find the efficiency efficiency is equal to ma upon vr that is 4.5 upon 5 into 100 so that will be 90 percentage that's all okay this numericals are pretty simple when compared to the other ones next turn to page number 66 66 example question number 3 okay page 66 example number 3 this is all this is a question again uh, it's been asked repetitively so i thought i'll explain it to you okay a pulley system with a velocity ratio of 4 is used to lift a load of 150 kgf through a vertical height of 20 meter 
effort is required, effort required is 50 kg of in the downward direction. Calculate all these things. Okay. Let us write what is given. First, velocity ratio is given as 4. Velocity ratio is 4. Then, load 150 kgf. Load is 150 kgf. And then, vertical height. Load travels through vertical height. So, distance travelled by load. So, dl. You will write dl. Okay. As I told you before, there is no effort arm, load arm in pulley system. So, dl will be 20 meter. Effort required is 50 kgf in the downward direction. These are the informations given. Velocity ratio, load, effort and distance travelled by load. Ok. Let us start solving the question. Distance moved by the effort. Distance moved by effort. DE. Ok. DE is the question mark. Now, you know that velocity ratio formula is DE by DL. I told you to remember like this. MA. In MA's formula, load will be in the numerator, load upon effort. In VR's formula, distance travelled by effort will be in the numerator, load in the denominator. Don't confuse yourself. So, VR is given as 4. DE we have to find. And DL is 20. So, DE will be 4 into 20, 80 meter. D part, work done by the effort. Work done by the effort. W, D by effort. Now, you know the formula for work done is force into displacement. Now, work done by effort. So, the force here will be effort. And distance travelled will be distance travelled by effort. Effort into distance travelled by effort. So, effort is given as 50 kgf. Now, in this, you have the load and effort in kgf. It has to be converted to Newton. They have given the value of g as 10. So, this will become 150 into 10. That is 1500 Newtons. This will become 50 into 10, that is 500 Newton. So, 500 into distance travelled by effort is 80. So, 5 eighths of 40, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2 and 3. This much will be the work done by the effort and unit will be joule. Coming to the C part, mechanical advantage that will be load upon effort that will be load is 1500 effort is 500 so ma will be 3 see your velocity ratio is 4 but ma is only 3 d part efficiency of the pulley system efficiency is ma upon vr so 3 by 4 into 100 that will be 75 percentage okay now coming to the e part they are asking total number of pulleys and the number of pulleys in each block how will you decide that total number of pulleys will based up will be equal to the velocity ratio don't equate it to a mechanical advantage so total number of pulleys equal to 4. Because the last ratio is 4, total number of pulleys will also be 4. And the, also they have asked, find the number of pulleys in lower block and upper block. So, if it is even, you know, both the blocks will have same number of pulleys. That is, lower block will have 2 pulleys and upper block will have 2 pulleys. So, this is how you have to solve this numerical. Keep this in mind. Okay. Work done by effort. If they would have asked you work done by load, then it will be load into distance travel by load. Remember that. Okay. That's very important in this. 
hope you have understood it clearly now the homework for today will be try all the 10 numericals now there are 11 numericals given here the 11th one is not in your syllabus so you can just strike it off the 11th one you can just strike it off it is not in the syllabus so totally you have to do 10 numericals some of them you can do do it in the book itself there is incomplete diagrams and very simple things like well ask ratio efficiency will be given and may will be asked things like that okay so try to solve all these 10 numericals also turn to page 67 question number 18 give reasons for the following this is also an important uh, question in the sense there are four reasoning questions this keeps coming often so i would like you to find the answer for this and write in your physics notebooks okay all the answers are there in the book just that you need to search for it and change the words a little bit and write in case you have any doubt or any difficulty i'll clear it in the zoom class so two homeworks 10 numericals plus 18 question number 18 even this example page 66 example 3 which is solved it will be good if you can pass it and do it for yourself then only you will understand okay children that's all for today i'm teaching less i'm taking only less time for teaching so that you'll have enough time to finish your written work all those numericals and reasoning questions once again don't forget the two instruction that i gave one is about completing your physics notebook the other one is preparation for prepare prepare for the test that's that you're going to have on 26th may syllabus is full chapter of machines thank you so much